Welcome to this new advanced spotlight. In this advanced spotlight, we're gonna look at the Vance Aircraft RV7, which is currently shown in the screen. And as you could already see, it's really detailed. It has been released. Um, let me have a look. I think it's uh, today even. Right, so it's a brand new one. Uh, it's the first release of the aircraft. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty detailed. Also, modeling is really nicely done. So it's high quality. Um, so let's go inside the aircraft uh, before taking off. So we can see also at the round. Uh, let, let's, let's try to also do some uh, testing. Um, all works nice, right? So it all moves. Really cool. So if we go inside, you will see a famous cockpit. And that's, I would say, borrowed partially from the uh, Cessna, right? Uh, not completely. Because it's based on the Cessna, because only these systems, uh, the garments are based on the Cessna. And you can see some uh, mixtures here. You can see the, the beacons. You can see some of the parts are borrowed from the Cessna, but not all of them. Um, here we can see the fuel selectors, uh, where, where, which we can set, right? And the cool thing, everything is working, at least. <laughs> Left, right, center, right? So that's cool. We've got the pitch arm up. We've got the fuel valve, which has been uh, switched off or open. Uh, on the left and right side, there's not much to discover, to be honest. Uh, if we would focus on the uh, front, we can see the uh, master switches, which will switch on the computers. We've got the standby uh, battery, which we can switch on and off. We've got the speedometer, the altimeter. Uh, we've got the avionics, uh, the lights. Um, so let's see. So flaps, <coughs> pilot heat, fuel pumps. Then probably need to switch them on in most cases. It says check gear. Wondering if I, that's correct, but that could be, I would say, one of the uh, few bugs which is or which are found in this aircraft. So, engine has started, as you can see. So let's switch on the navigation lights, pilot heat. Uh, we don't need to have the uh, flaps. Then we can switch on the avionics. And we see the next uh, display lighting up. Uh, I'm not going to discuss how the display works, right? Because that's what I already did in a previous video. I would say in Chestnut 172. However, maybe I'm going to, I would say, review it. Uh, later on, uh, I can see a small bug here with uh, with the vertical navigation, which is uh, blinking. Uh, so let's see if we can uh, get the aircraft uh, in the air. Uh, I can see the propeller and mixture are set to full, right? That's good uh, because that's needed for takeoff. Um, let's focus on the views. The views are also working nice. So I'm going to remove the parking brake. And we're going to go full throttle. Or not actually full throttle, but throttle a bit. Follow the yellow line for taxiing to the runway. You can see also see some, I would say, some wear on the uh, window, right? On the windshield. It's a small aircraft, only uh, two persons can uh, be in the aircraft. So let's go and troll a little bit more. And so here we can see the aircraft from the outside. Lights are also nicely burning, right? So you can see it's, I would say, fully complete aircraft. It's, uh, I'd say, it's really nice to see uh, a version which is, uh, I would say, pretty, I would say, pretty 
pretty well completed uh, prior to releasing. Uh, so you can say this one is not a developer version anymore. It's, I would say, almost a full version. Uh, in the meantime, we're taxiing to the uh, start of the runway. All the camera views do we have? Well, of course, on the uh, cockpit. And Snarecraft, which I would say is running on the uh, on the back of the wheel, right? So you can see it's uh, doing it like this. So you need to, let's say, look a little bit more over the cockpit. So let's see if the flaps are working. Yes, they're working perfectly. I already love this aircraft. So we're gonna go on and we're gonna drive on to the runway number 17A. So flaps are set. So let's go full throttle. There comes the back in the air. Here we go. And we're airborne. Nicely. Let's go inside the aircraft again <laughs> to make sure that we're flying in the correct direction. So we're climbing, as you can see, uh, we're climbing over 5,000 feet already. So let's reduce, Whoa, not too much, the mixture and the propeller a bit to reduce the RPM right better for fuel usage also these things are working uh, the other thing which is I would say it's not shown anymore here like the gear that I would say could be potential thing which needs to be fixed but overall I'm, I would say I'm really impressed by this one uh, you see also the two pilots Sitting back and relax. Also some mirroring, right? You can see the mirroring here. Really cool, the uh, I'm saying really cool feature. And the front. So let's go inside. So let's uh, do some basic checks, right? Let's see if the the autopilot is working, uh, because this one is say should be, I would say fairly completed right so we're gonna set the altitude using this nice button here I'm gonna set it to what shall we do 6,000 feet switching on the autopilot and the flight control and the flight director and we're gonna set the uh, heading using this button Uh, we're gonna press the heading selector. You can see that the cockpit or the dashboard is directly updated. Heading. So hold heading, approach, do the uh, flight level change. So it's climbing as you can see. Let's see if it really works. You can see it's a little bit windy because it's going a little bit left and right it's a little, little bit of turbulence so that works so we're nicely climbing with 400 feet per minute with a speed of uh, almost 90 knots uh, so let's uh, have a look at the map right you can see that it's using the g1000 nxi as it looks like 
so we can uh, do a direct to right or so we can uh, look at the map or we can use the nearest functionality the nearest functionality you need to use it on this side uh, and there we can select the uh, the airport so you can select the uh, po4 and then you can use the nice buttons here uh, to change it so that's all working nicely so both autopilot is working takeoff works nicely uh, so it's a good start of the week <laughs> with aircraft being released PO4 was it? Yep. Yeah. I can say enter and then activate. And now let's see if we can use the uh, nav option. Right, that's been set to GPS, so it should work. And it looks like it's working. You can also see that the alt is blinking. Uh, so the aircraft now starts turning into the direction of the airport. parking brake is set is here right so you can find the parking brake uh, on the left side you can also see the nice details here right so uh, modeling is kudos for the developers i would say so let's uh, retract the flaps what else is being shown here the navigation map you can see the engines, but this is all, I would say, based on the uh, G1000 uh, NXI. So it's all kind of a default uh, functionality, which probably comes with the aircraft or with the uh, computer. So we're at five miles from PO4, which is the uh, airport, which we also use for takeoff. Other than that, what can we tell? Well, we can see the uh, compass here and here. And this is more for the uh, to figure out what's the turn angle. See, it's a little bit windy because the aircraft is, I would say, really unstable. We're going with a speed of uh, 100 knots, right? So we're going to also reduce throttling a bit so how to install this one because that's something we didn't discuss yet and uh, that's really easy you can install it by extra by downloading it from uh, the uh, flight sim.2 website and then you can extract the zip uh, be aware that the zip uh, can't be extracted directly into the community folder because there are some other folders in it so you probably want to extract it to a temporary folder and then copy it manually over to the community folder uh, so we're going to reduce speed because we want to make a landing on that runway over there on the uh, left side let's see If we succeed, it's going to decrease the speed even further, right? So drop the flaps completely. the speed a bit poppy lights are burning right. 
a little bit too low as you can see because we're not hitting the touch point. Boop. Oof, bump, bumpy landing. Really bumpy landing, so that requires some more practice, as you can see. But overall, we, we just landed safely uh, on the uh, on the runway uh, with this nice aircraft. Uh, I really like it, this one. It's, I would say, nicely modeled. It has a lot of functionalities. Everything is... It looks like everything is working. Uh, the only thing is that the, uh, I would say, gear warning is shown in the cockpit, uh, which does not make sense because you can't, I would say, uh, retract the uh, the gears. Uh, again, cool aircraft. So here ends this uh, Anon Spotlight. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to put them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.